Hi, it's Tanya. And I wanted to do a face-to-face. -face. I know everybody's been doing them lately and, you know, I figured I'd jump on that bandwagon. But I do have exciting news to tell you and I'm thrilled to bits to do it. So if you aren't an Instagram subscriber of mine, and that wouldn't be surprising because I've only been on it for like two seconds, or you're not on Facebook, you might not have seen the news. So what is my big, big, big news? I am on the Hip Kit Club design team. I know. It is super exciting and, and it really actually is because <laughs> I love hip kits and I, I mean if you're a subscriber of my YouTube videos you'll know that 90% of what I do on here is using the hip kits because I love them. They are jam packed with product, they talk to my inner soul and I just love the aesthetic of them and the, the colours and, and the embellishments and just everything about it. And I love Kimberly. She really, truly goes above and beyond for her subscribers. She, if there's a problem, she'll sort it out. We've had shipping issues here in South Africa. She sorted us out. And now, actually, for internationals, the shipping that the procedure she has and, and the people she uses, DHL, something or other, it, it it's phenomenal. My September kits have already hit the country. Okay, they haven't got to me yet, you know, and that's where the problems usually come in. But, hey, it's it's like magic how quickly it comes now. And you can also double up. Um, you can get your kits every two months, which also can save you on shipping. So, yes, I cannot, cannot say enough about Kimberly and her club. And yeah, there's, there, there was a bit of, I think, hmm, let's try and put my words together here. There was a question in the Facebook group recently where somebody expressed a little bit of disappointment in not getting in, and I can completely understand that. I have tried out for numerous clubs, kit clubs, and been turned down every single time. <laughs> it was like par for the course, you know. And I think, I, th I don't know, I don't know what magic trick there is out there, or... All I have been doing is being very active in the Facebook group. In fact, I think people see my name and think, oh my gosh, this woman's at it again. You know, because I'm forever posting. Whenever I make a layout, I instantly want to photograph it, put it on the Facebook, put it on Instagram, and just say, hey, people, look what I created with this kit. Isn't this kit wonderful? And that has been genuine from my side, not a... Not a a means or or a way to get on the team that was just me being me and I think that gets noticed you know so so be enthusiastic and participate be, and you know everybody wants to belong somewhere and if you really really love a uh, kick club then you, you'll obviously want to sing their praises and be active on the Facebook group and etc so yeah I think I think that and and to be honest I think I had a few champions on my side <laughs> which might have helped a little bit. So that yeah I am I am on the team and I'm delighted and all I can say is is hang in there because if it's if it's going to happen it will. So there we go there's Tanya's philosophy on how to get on to a design team that she's been on for literally <laughs> 2 seconds. <laughs> I, my term starts in October, but I think my first couple of projects will probably be, will obviously be with the September kits because I won't have got my October kits yet, but I am, I am, oh, so looking forward to it and I suspect I'm going to get a bit of stage fright when I, when I have to do that very first team video. <laughs> it's going to be like, oh my gosh, how do I live up to all these other people and how wonderful they are and how great they are, but I'm just going to be me because I can't be anybody else, so there are going to be the mixed media disasters, there are going to be the, oh, I don't know, whatever else goes wrong with my videos, <laughs> because that's just who I am. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, is my video style is not going to change, my sense of humour is not going to go anywhere. It's it's kind of, you're kind of stuck with it, I'm afraid. So, yeah. What else can I tell you? Hmm. My daughter is turning 21 at the end of this month, so we are in full scale getting prepared for her party mode. She's 
doing something, I don't know, it's something slightly different. We're going to, we have a National Botanical Garden here, it's beautiful, called Kirstenbosch, and we're going there for a picnic. So she's invited her family and friends, and we're all going to go there and just have a wonderful time having a picnic and enjoying the scenery and chatting. So I like that idea. I think it's, it's you know, it's not one of these madcap parties that they want to do. So that's nice. And she just recently got back from a road trip, which in the end turned to be a road trip back from hell because of all sorts of disasters that went on. But I was super proud of her. She was mature. She handled it well. She didn't panic. She did all the right stuff. And yeah, because the the car, something went wrong with the car and then people broke into the car. So, you know, it was those kind of life happenings which can derail you if you're if you're not used to them or, or prepared, but she and her friend handled it beautifully. So super proud of her there, and I dare say there'll be some layouts coming up, and I'll probably rehash the whole story all over again. <laughs> My other daughter, she is well into grade 11 exams, and they are going reasonably well. She stresses out, but that's because she's highly competitive and wants to do well, so we go through the Oh, the same drama over and over again. She comes home, I failed, Mom, I failed. I'm, I, I just, I'm not, it's a disaster. And then she gets her marks and they're actually pretty darn good. So, but we go through it every single time. <laughs> and, well, as for me, I'm well, as you can see. <laughs> I put a little bit of lipstick on. I think it's gone by now. But I did, I put a little bit of lipstick on and I, I uh, washed my hair for this. And I've actually, this is my third time doing it because I tried to do one of those wonderful ones where, you know, I'm standing talking and all the rest of it and, I don't know, the lighting was bad and it was dark and uh, just, it just didn't work. So you just get me sitting in front of the webcam now, sad to say. And also I don't have a cute ladle talking baby in my video. Wish I did. <laughs> Uh, because she was really cute and if you're not if you don't know what I'm talking about you should check out Irit Langraf's chit chat video she has the cutest little girl and uh, yeah well she's great too so I think that is about it I can't think of anything else I wanted to tell you I really just wanted to tell you my main big news oh did I say that nothing really will change on my channel oh I know what I wanted to say okay I scrap I, I scrap well, that's a stupid thing to start with. Of course I scrap. When I get my kits, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unpacking rather than a, a share because obviously everybody else will have, have got their kits and, and will have shared it already, although I watch them all. But I figure I'll do the unpacking into my iris container because that, that's quite fun to do. And yeah, if you've watched any of my others, you'll realize that they, they, they can be entertaining. <laughs> I don't pre-plan anything, so when I start doing something, you know, if it, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong in spectacular fashion. So, yes, I want to do an unpacking into my iris container, and so at the beginning, and then I'll do all my process videos, and then at the end I'll do the let the kit go gently into the night video. Yes, Suze, that was especially for you. <laughs> so, so that's what my plan is. My plan is to unpack use and then show what I have left over at the end of the month and yeah otherwise I don't think much else will will definitely nothing else will change in here because as I said earlier in the video 90% of what I do is with the hip kits anyway so I will try and maybe do some other stuff in between who knows but uh, there will definitely be videos process videos and hopefully a lot of them and using all the beautiful goodies Ooh. September. September kits have hit South Africa, so I should be getting those soon and then I can play with them. And October has been revealed and, ah, oh, October looks stunning. It really does. You should check it out. The link is below to the Hip Kit Club. And if you aren't a member of the Facebook group, come join us. It's fun. We share layouts, we chit chat. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good place to be. So yes, and lastly, but not leastly, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody that watches my videos and to those that, sorry, it just went blank there, so it's a bit disturbing, but I'm just going to continue talking. <laughs> I'm back again, yay. So 
yes, to every single one of you who watch and to those of you who comment, I appreciate it. I I love it, in fact. I know we all say the same thing, but it's true. If you are a YouTuber, uh, then you will know that those comments are the highlight of your day. And I have some regulars who comment all the time, and I want to thank you too, because you you perk up sometimes what is a very dreary day, and yeah, it's just nice to, to interact with people. So I want to say thank you. And if I don't reply, it's not because I'm being rude, it's just I think I need to do that a bit more often and interact with you all a bit more so that, you know, we can form scrappy friends. So I think that is it. I'm going to say goodbye now because it's been over 10 minutes and I'm sure half of you have gone off to make coffee and all the rest of it, So, which I'm going to do now. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day and we will chat again soon. Bye bye. Hey, it's me. Yay. <laughs> this is like the gazillion time I'm doing this. Right, okay. Cut. <laughs>